Hi, and welcome to the video on how to create coupon codes with Stripe. So we've been working on this feature for a long time, and I'm really excited that it's finally done and working, and I'm glad to show it off to you. So here we are on our Weebly developer test site, and let's say I submit without a coupon here, and you can see your Stripe payment button. You can also do this with a Stripe form. I'll show in another video, but this is with a button. So we have our pop-up button, and it's a $30 product. This is just something I had with a free trial, and then it's a paid, uh, paid plan, so 30 bucks. Okay, so let's say I put in a coupon that's not valid, like that coupon, and click Submit. It checks the coupon, says coupon code not found. So let's delete that, and let's look in my Stripe account and see what coupons I do have. You can see that I have three coupons. Uh, I just call them FUBAR, which is a made up name, FUBAR1, FUBAR2, and FUBAR3. And remember, coupons in Stripe are case sensitive. So let's go back to the site. Let's say I do lowercase foobar1, and it's case sensitive, so that will not be valid. So again, we get that coupon code not found error. But let me try this foobar1, whoops, foobar1 coupon code. Before I hit submit, let's look at that coupon. Foobar1 is a 50% off discount. So that was a $30 product. Let's hit submit. And the button pops up and it automatically calculates the 50% discount and says pay $15 instead of $30. So let's try FUBAR2, which is, let's look at that coupon again. FUBAR2 is a $20, $20 off once. And you can do coupons that are just for a limited time. You can do coupons that are forever. And this one's just off the first payment. You can definitely do that too. I'll show you how to create a coupon in Stripe momentarily. So here we are, FUBAR2, and it says pay $10. It automatically calculates that $20 off the $30 original price. So it would be $10 the first time, and then your com your customer would be on that normal plan. So it would, it would hit their credit card at the end of their interval, whether that's monthly or annually at uh, the normal price. And let's try another coupon, FUBAR3. Cool. And it's $24. And why is it $24? Because that coupon, FUBAR3, is 20% off. 20% off a $30 product is $6. $6 off 30 is $24. So that's where you're going to end up. And you can have this on your website. Basically, the top part is just a Weebly form. And the bottom part is some code that you create in the app and you paste in. So let's talk about how to do this. Okay, so let's start with coupons. You're going to be in your Stripe account. And remember, there's two universes in Stripe. There's the real universe which you get to by flipping this view test data to the left, and there's the test universe, which you get to by flipping this to the right. So when you create test coupons, they're not valid when people put in real credit card numbers. This is only for testing and vice versa. So let's start off though with the test. So let's make a new coupon, and let's say it's um, also 50% off. You can either do a percent off or down here a dollar amount off. You can't do both. The currency here is USD for me. Um, the duration, it says, how long will the coupon last once applied to the customer? Well, you can choose multi-month or forever. Multi-month will ask you how many months. Um, let's say forever, why not? So this is forever, and let's call this coupon 01, whoops, 01. And that is, what's, what does it say? A unique identifier that will be used throughout the API. Okay, max redemptions, you can limit how many times that it can be redeemed. And you can also click when it needs to be redeemed by. So it's pretty cool. So let's create a coupon called Coupon01. And I think that's all we'll need for testing. Coupon01, which is 50% off forever. Okay, so now let's go into the app. And let's see, I have two rules already set up. So I've gone to My Rules, Subscription Rules, and clicked on Stripe because this is only for Stripe. So the coupons are created in Stripe and we're in Stripe Subscription Rules. I've created two rules. When someone purchases my test plan called Free Trial Then Paid, then they're added to Test Group 1. And when they purchase that plan, they're also added to Test Group 2. Now remember when I made this plan, you don't have to write Test Plan when you're in the test environment in Stripe. Uh, my app automatically adds those words, test plan. So I call it free trial then paid, and I know it's a test plan because the app adds that. So I have those two rules. So when someone purchases it, they should be added to both groups. And I think that's all I need to do here. Oh, wait a second. Let's look on our Weebly website. Okay, so let's go to the back end of our Weebly website. 
and you can see here that this is just a normal form. But um, let's see, let's delete this form and start over. Okay, so now I've deleted everything on this page. So we're starting off with a blank page, just like you're probably going to. And the first thing I like to do is, well, we'll go to build, and then I really love the spacer element, so the, the page doesn't look all smashed. I'm gonna put a little spacer element right there, and then I'm gonna copy, whoops, to this page. And those are my two favorite things in Weebly, this page and spacer elements. So yeah, let's put a spacer element there, and one on top. Okay, so what do we wanna do now? Well, let's see, we wanna drag in a contact form. So you're just gonna take a normal Weebly contact form and drag it in. Cool. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna add in another field and just use, when you click on the form, this is the most confusing thing. The, you don't see the form widgets until you click on the form. So on the left you see like title, text, image. If you click once here, suddenly, magically, these will turn into form field elements that you can drag in like short text box, large text box, which is rad. So let's drag in short text box and I'm going to use that in a second that's entitled and let's just get rid of the other ones just for simplicity's sake. You can keep other fields. I'll show you some more examples of forms with lots of fields in another video, but let's keep it really simple and just add the one uh, form field. I'm not even going to put a title here. We'll just get rid of that. Um, okay, so right now this is an untitled field. Let's click on it. It's a coupon code, so not everyone's going to use a coupon code, so you don't want to make it required. Flip it to not required. And then all you have to do is put something with the word coupon in it. And it's not case sensitive for this. So you could put in, uh, insert a valid coupon code here. Now this text has the word coupon in it and that's what uh, we look for. As long as it has the word coupon in it, it will validate it as a coupon. So just don't have multiple fields with your word coupon in it, but you can have coupon or you can have uh, case sensitive. This, your coupons themselves are case sensitive, but this is not case sensitive. You can use caps if you want and we'll still be able to identify it. So insert a valid coupon code here. Okay, cool. Well, let's see. The only thing we need to do is click on form options. When you first make a form, it's called contact form and all your forms will have the same name, which will be super confusing. Uh, so I'm going to call it coupon form one, but just give it a name that you will remember. Okay, great. And you're going to want to save that. And my app can't pick up any forms until they're submitted once. So let's just publish the site. If you don't see your form, it's probably because you didn't submit it once. So let's go to the live site. We are on this page here. I'm just going to put some text in and submit it. As long as it says it's been submitted, then it'll show up in the app. Cool. So then let's go into the app and let's uh, let's see, what do we need to do? Oh, I don't see my forms here. This is because we've added something new. It's called Superform. So click on Superform. There's two options, one with a pop-up stripe button and one with an embedded form. So let's start with a stripe button and I'll show forms in another video. Um, this is called My First, my first Coupon Superform. Great, so that's a name. And then your super form is only associated with one of your forms. It's if you change the name of the if you change the form, then it won't work. So it has it's only associated with one form. So let's choose that form I just made, which was called coupon form one. Now remember we named it coupon form one. Whoops right here. When you click on it and you go to form options, you name it. We named it coupon form one. And so now in the drop down, it's coupon form one. Choose a Stripe subscription plan for which you want to make a payment button. Okay, so when they click on that button, I want my test plan free trial then paid to pop up. And because that's what I have rules for in the app, I have rules for that Stripe plan, the test plan called free trial then paid. So that's why I'm choosing it here, free trial then paid. Uh, where would I like people to be redirected? Well, let's see. I want to redirect them to a thank you page that I made. So let's see. I have to remind myself of my website URL all the time. So I'm going to just copy it from here, from the live site. Let's actually make sure that there's a thank you page. 
that's live on this site. And there is, there's my thank you page. So the easiest thing to do is just copy that URL like that. And I'm gonna paste this in. I want people to be redirected to my thank you page. Plan description, um, let's see. Uh, tutorial, tutorial test plan. And I don't need an image. Uh, the currency type, we just added this. Currency is USD by default. You can have alternative currencies and you don't have to touch the code anymore. You can just use this drop down. Do I want to collect shipping or billing information? Let's just keep it simple and not. And I'm going to click continue. Cool. And then I'm going to copy this code to the clipboard and I'm going to go back to my Weebly website and I'm just going to go to the um, embed code element and drag it in. You can put it anywhere on the page and edit custom HTML, delete so it doesn't write those words, and then paste it in. Now, whatever it looks like here, don't worry about it. It looks fine here. If it didn't look fine, uh, you're going to want to just publish it and look on your published site because the Weebly editor doesn't always deal with JavaScript correctly uh, in the editing environment. You just want to make sure it looks great in the published environment. So let's publish this. And we're going to go to the live page. Here we are. Insert a coupon code here. So remember in my Stripe account, I made a new coupon code with you called coupon01 and it's 50% off forever. Oops, so here we are. So let me try coupon02 and see that it does not accept that as a valid coupon. Coupon code not found. So let's try coupon01 and submit that. Cool, and it's not $30, it's $15, because it's 50% off. So there you go, you've entered a coupon code, you've created coupon codes in Stripe, and they are, they are processing correctly, and then when your customer fills out this form, they'll be added to whatever groups you made in, in the app, and added in your Weebly website as well. Congratulations, you have your first Stripe coupon.